Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Ethos here. Today, I'm gonna tell you why you should unbind crap. Hey, what's going on guys? Ethos here. Just wanted to say all these clips are taken from my stream. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash ethos. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and join my Discord server down below. Enjoy the video. Alright guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I will be going into the use of the crouch button in Valorant. Whether or not you need it or not, when you should use it, when you shouldn't use it, which is 95% of the time. But we'll get into that, right? So first off, let's get into why crouching is bad, okay? If you guys remember, I uploaded a movement video a little while back where I explained the importance of, you know, ADADing and not committing to fights. Because if you commit to sprays, then there's a good chance you just die if you don't kill him in the first couple bullets, right? That's what the guy's also whiffing. But also, when facing multiple enemies, it's important to stay mobile, stay flexible, and stay on the move. It keeps yourself from overcommitting to fights and makes you a harder target to hit. So basically, it's the same idea, right? I know a lot of you guys have the habit of just crouching every time you fight someone, but that's the exact habit we're gonna try to get rid of, right? Because this habit, where every time you fight someone, you crouch, you are a sitting duck. You are a sitting duck. If you're not killing this one Here. person in the first five bullets, this person will probably going to kill you. If they move out of your spray and you're just a sitting, you're sitting target. You're as good as one of these bots who are just really standing still, right? And there's nothing you can do about it. The second you hit the crouch key, basically means that you can't move it. You've pretty much sentenced yourself to death at that point. Unless you kill them, right? But then there's also other scenarios, right? Where instead of just being one person, there could be one or two or three or four, you know, like there could be more people than just one person. So even if you do kill this one person, right, the ability for you, unless you hit an insane spray transfer, right, the chances of you being able to get the other you guys or to stay alive are pretty low because you're going to be here mid spray, your recoil is going to be up, right, and you're not going to be able to move while the other person, the second here. person, go to turn around, they're fully able to move around and do whatever and they just take a free shot on you and you're just dead. This is why I recommend what you should do right now is go into your controls, do this, unbind crouch, and then start doing this, right? Start going around, and just start playing like you normally know would. Like, you don't have to worry about the burst now, worry about the sprays, you know? Practice spraying, learning how to control your spray without crouching. I know in my previous spray control tutorial I talked about you being able to use the crouch to help control your spray. Now I feel like we're past that. I feel like we're past that. You still need it as a handicap. Go for it when this game movement is so important that being able to stay on the tip of your toes and you know off your heels is very important all right make sure you're on the balls of your feet at all times constantly able to move around, all right stay mobile always stay mobile but yeah just come around practice these sprays make this spray up as well stop relying on the crouch to get a spray Really important that you just completely get rid of that hat right. and just keep doing this. Do the reverse move, reverse move, or oh, sorry, this sprays. Take in between like a full spray, reverse, you know. Keep doing this. And this is how you're gonna improve your consistency in this winning aim boost. You're gonna have to hit insane headshots every time, but just focus on your consistency. Being able to win those easy pieces that you should be winning. I'm not even worried about hitting the chest as much. I'm just worried about just praying and moving right away. Put it in your head that you don't need the crotch button to put on your crosshair. Yeah, get into that. And if you're still struggling with spraying in general without using your crouch key, do this. Notice how high it goes up. Make sure you pull down and try to keep it in the circle. Without crouching. Now after you've moved on from moving in between your sprays, you can start doing your burst. I just being mobile. And then onto your one tap. And when I mean that crouching is a bad habit, I mean like it's a really bad habit. Most pros, most top tier pros, barely crouch when they fight. You'll notice a lot in VCT matches and everything. A lot of them have unlearned the crouch spray habit from like CSGO and are now understanding that in Valorant, AD, AD burst movement is a lot more powerful. Practice that. Practice not using your crouch key, just practice being mobile, practice being able to uncommit from fights and being able to reset your recoil. 
What are you doing? When should I crouch? Great question. Let's show you guys. So there's a couple moments, right? Crouching is still effective, right? Like it's still it's still useful to have. Sometimes it's useful to crouch is for example doing off angles, right? If you're playing yeah. somewhere high, like if you know the other teams are good players and you can be aiming high above, playing an off angle on like a completely weird angle, let's say like you're here. coming through here, like a weird off angle like up here or something, right? Totally fine, right? Totally okay. And these like weird off angles, that's the only time like I would really crouch is being able to like use it to play like these off angles. But using it as a habit to just crouch immediately when I'm fighting someone, that's what we want because that's usually going to be 10 times out of 10 worst off. There are also sometimes, I guess I see some people can pull it off. I do sometimes and I don't think it's the worst thing. But like, instead of like bulk mini to crouch spray, I like these like mini crouches. Like. It's like, still, so, I don't know. That's the only time, like, I, I see, like, people do this sometimes. But I think it's not that. I mean, it can be for getting your ones. But again, a lot of situations where it's not that. Hard. So, if you want to do it like that, but just make sure, like, you aren't slamming the crouch. Alright? First thing, I still think that you should avoid using it. But if you still need a handicap, go for it. Alright? But yeah, most of the times you want to crouch is only when you're trying to play for off angles, play around weird angles here. And like crouch and like kind of like for example sitting here with a shorty right sitting here with like shotguns and stuff you can actually make your spread smaller but crouching will make yourself more accurate and it actually does make you more accurate i believe with like rifles and everything in general like the area to lower one well, for that reason okay that's fine that's why i still have crouch enables for those scenarios but if you still have that habit of crouching every time you fight unbind that right now, doing it in range and everything is good, right? That's a good base, right? But in order to really start drilling it into your brain that you should never crouch, you gotta run some deathmatch, right? I'm not talking about like, I'm not saying that you're gonna be able to get rid of this habit in a day, right? Maybe not even a week, but give it like, you know, two or three weeks and you'll notice yourself start to crouch a lot less, right? So what I would recommend is go into deathmatches, unbind crouch, really don't use it. You'll notice yourself sometimes, you'll hit the crouch key, but you won't actually crouch. You'll keep moving and you move fast and you realize that's a bad habit right relying on the crouch key is a handicap okay to so make sure when you go match into this death down. match just to focus on being able to never crouch being able to focus on never having that handicap that'll improve your mechanics in game after the death matches are done though feel free to rebind it for the actual matches right it might be brief to not have crouch on because who knows maybe you need to like crouch up onto something death or match. like up underneath the fire or something you know there's moments there are a few moments where you could use the crouch one most times uh, definitely just make sure that it's off, okay? Here, I'll unbind crouch, even though I don't crouch anyways, just for the sake of the video. My crouch, remember, just, just want to practice all those different shooting methods that we talked about in the ring. Okay. See? Right there? I crouched, I was dead. But I had a chance to stay alive. There again, I was able to move after two more first shots. See, like it's just it's just that simple it's just that simple spray move spray move next we're going to burst so i recommend doing two to four bullet bursts between every every strafe never fully coming into a fight same thing as the movement video just really focus on the idea never talk If I miss the shots, I'm making them miss their shots. Everything's okay. First move. First move. First move. This guy's doing it too. I feel difficult is to hit someone doing that in my POV. I'm glad someone did it to me in my POV. You can see how difficult it is. See right there, you're just shooting me, but I'll keep moving. Attack moves. This is not the most mobile. Kill 
always just one tap move move also another thing don't put your sound all the way up i might sound a little louder than usual just because of the video because i'm here but in dm keep your sound you're not practicing this thing right practicing your practicing your aim Practicing your E. Practicing your eyes, your mouth, your move. Okay. Now that you get a couple of those DMs in, you're feeling good about yourself, feel free to go into your next ranked games, be buying crouch, but try to keep those habits of not pressing that crouch key as much. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you didn't find it helpful and you don't like these types of videos, make sure also let me know down in the comments down below. Appreciate you all for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.